Good Love Life Crucial Boy Musa back with another reaction video. Today we're going to be checking out these temples in India are the riches than the entire entire countries. Alright, let's check it out. This 8 minutes 44 seconds to see what it's saying. This was suggested on my previous video, the Geography India. So if you have another suggestion on things you want me to check out, make sure to leave it in the comment section. Let's get it. Most Indians are deeply religious and don't think twice about donating a generous portion of their wealth to temples. Okay. In fact, devotees have often been seen donating entire sacks of gold, silver and even diamond to temples. Wow. So it's hardly surprising that some temple trusts are ridiculously rich. They are so wealthy in fact that a few of India's temples have a net worth more than the entire GDP of some countries. What? Don't believe me? Take a look. Talk to me, talk to me. This is crazy. This is big stats. What's this one called? Padmana Baswami. Baswami Temple. The Padmanabha Swami Temple, located in Tiruvananthapuram, isn't just the richest temple in India, but also the world. Okay. The temple shot to fame in 2011 when five secret cellars were opened after being sealed for decades. What was found could render anyone speechless. Antique gold ornaments, a gold idol of Mahavishnu, estimated to be worth 500 crore rupees, Dang. a sack full of diamonds, Dang. golden crowns, 17 kilograms of gold coins, gold trinkets weighing one ton, an 18 foot long golden necklace and thousands of pieces of antique jewellery were found. The Padmanabha Swami Temple Trust is so rich, no one can actually even estimate its worth. That's, what, that's, that's mad. No one can estimate its What? Yo, imagine. It's been sealed for how many and they just opened it and they just found all of that. Yo, whoever whoever opened their mouth, <laughs> finding that, respecting them for obviously letting the government and whatnot know, or whoever taking care of the temple, that's crazy. But because it's so religious as well, stealing from a temple, I feel like it's like, like, like if you're religious, you just ain't gonna do it, are you? You know what I'm saying? But it's touted to be over a trillion rupees. Wow. Tirupati's Balaji Temple was considered India's wealthiest temple till the treasure of Padmanabha Swami was discovered. Mm. But it is still the world's wealthiest temple in terms of the donations it has received. Okay. Dedicated to Lord Venkateshwara, this temple receives donations worth almost 40 crore rupees every single day. How much? Temple receives donations worth almost 40 crore rupees every single day. Bruv. In addition to that, the Temple Trust has gold ornaments of over 50 tons. Wow! Every year, the Temple converts 3,000 kilograms of gold received in donation boxes from pilgrims as gold reserve deposits with India's nationalized banks. That's mad. Sai Baba has millions of followers all over the world. And the Shirdi Temple Trust is reportedly the third richest in India. Such a nice architecture, man. Look at these temples. The way they're built is, is insane. This is Estimated incredible. to be worth around 2,000 crore rupees, the trust is known for helping the needy in times of crisis. Okay. 380 kilograms of gold and over 4,000 kilograms of silver are believed to be a part of this temple's earnings. The temple also gets donations worth almost 200 crore rupees every year. Okay. She said, what, 200? 200 crore, the other ones make you, what, 40? 40 a day or something like that. Wait, let's go back quick. Let me go back. In terms of the donations it has received, 
temple receives donations worth almost 40 crore rupees every single day. 40, 40 crores, but 40 crores, 40 every single day. And this one over here. His earnings. The temple also gets donations worth almost 200 crore rupees. 200 a year. Rupees every a year. year. The other was 40 a day. But the comparison is mutt. The cup is mutt. The holy cave of Vaishno Devi gets over 1 crore pilgrims each year, making it the second most visited temple in India after Tirupati. Reports suggest that the temple, which is located at an altitude of 5,200 feet in the Himalayas, up there. Yeah, I don't know if I want to visit that. That's a lot of cardio. Shit to get up there. Collects cash donations worth 500 crore rupees every year. Still Apart lot, from man. this, it's it has lot, got man. 1.2 tons of gold in the last five years. Mad. Religion, religion, it just shows you that religion and people's beliefs is is, is big in India, right? It's just it's such a huge part of their, their culture and their life in general. Mumbai's famous Siddhi Vinayak temple is dedicated to Lord Ganesh and is visited by lakhs of devotees including several big politicians, renowned businessmen and Bollywood stars. Okay. Reports suggest that the temple earns around 125 crore rupees annually and has amassed around 1.5 tons of gold. Amritsar's Golden Temple has tremendous religious significance. Said, this one it is the holiest people. shrine in Sikhism. Okay, that's crazy. The upper floors of the Gurdwara. Just, just, just look at the design. Oh, man. Wow. Have been constructed using 400 kilograms of gold. The holy Guru Granth Sahib kept inside the temple is studded with diamonds, precious stones and jewels. It is estimated that an average 40,000 pilgrims visit the Golden Temple every day and donations give it an annual income of around 50 crore rupees. Okay, in that case is more most people just visit it just to see it. Because that one, that one there just looks very familiar to me compared to the other ones. That one there I see, I see a lot. A large part of these earnings are given back to society physical. through a massive community kitchen that is constantly feeding people. Okay, then it's definitely more than 50 then. If you're constantly feeding people, but well, food is expensive. Let's be honest with you. If they're constantly feeding people every single day, then it's definitely making way over 50. Way over 50. This is a nice one as well. Oh, it's like in the middle of the sea. Situated on the banks of River Ganga, Varanasi's Kashi Vishwanath temple has managed to maintain its glory despite being looted and demolished in the past. Okay. The temple hosts almost 50 lakh devotees every year. The annual donation received is around 5 crore rupees. Apart from this, the temple has... That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful temple. Three domes, two of which are plated with solid gold. The Kashi Vishwanath temple's latest records peg its worth around 75 crore rupees. The wealth of Gujarat Somnath. Wow, look at the details. But the, it's the it's the details for me. I'm not gonna check. It's the de, it's the details, but the details. I'm just like how, how, like that, who who sat there for months, if not years, on end designing this with limited tools as well. I remind you, limited tools. Our temple was so bountiful that That's Turkish insane. ruler Mahmud of Ghazni looted mm. it 17 times for its gold and silver collections. Uh, it was also looted by Aurangzeb. Oh my goodness, bro. Look at it. Look, look. And later by Portuguese invaders. 
but despite all these attacks the temple retains its splendor while the exact wealth of the trust remains undisclosed the temple possesses plenty of assets including 1700 acres of land giving it a spot in this list of india's wealthiest temples located in good how much land wait let's see how many how many how much land plenty of assets including 1700 acres 1700 acres yeah that land 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 is expensive and they took 700 acres yeah 1700 acres of That's land giving it a spot in this list of india's wealthiest temples for sure located in gujarat the temple is known for receiving sacks of gold and diamond jewelry from diamond merchants okay now this is the one that had me confused madurai's minakshi temple witness this temple is is it's just insane this temple has me so discombobulated like i don't understand it i don't i just don't understand how a human created this this is the footfall of almost 20000 devotees on a daily basis Look from it. whom it earns an annual income of around 6 crore rupees during the minakshi tirukalyanam festival plenty of donations are seen in gold silver and diamonds The temple also has two carts made from gold that add to its net worth. This is beautiful. What's this one? Jagannath. Jagannath temple. Puri's Jagannath temple is one Jagannath. of the char dhams of Hinduism Jagannath. and receives nearly 30,000 worshippers daily, which can go up to 70,000 on festivals. The temple once got nearly 2 crore rupees donation from a European devotee. There are also 30,000 acres of land registered under the name of Lord Jagannath. Okay. Estimates suggest that the deities are adorned in 209 kilograms of gold during the Rath Yatra. The entire worth of the temple is more than 150 crore rupees. How many of these temples have you visited? Let us know in the comments. See, I ain't visited none of them, but I, I definitely want to visit India in the next couple of years. Maybe save up a lot of money, make a make an amazing trip out of it. I definitely want to touch down in India in the next couple of years for sure, for for sure. It looks amazing. and i love indian food so <laughs> that's going to be a bonus for me to get that idea of food in as well um but hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction so some wonderful temples a lot of information um about how people their worships their beliefs and how dedicated they are to it as well to give up gold silver diamonds you know all that kind of stuff donations and stuff mad respect to them um the architecture is just i'm just like how how Um but like I said before in the beginning if there's any other videos you would like for me to check out you're more than welcome to drop it in the comment section and leave this video with a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you guys in the next one love life love life love life peace